So, nine months after doing part one of my laser aligning videos, um, I finally got a bit more time to come back to it. Um, to go back over what we did, we covered in part one, that was the alignment of the laser to the bed to the world. So, making sure X and Y are dead level and at the same height. Um, and that the tube is also dead level and that the mirrors are in the correct position. Um, that you can see in part one. Hopefully I'll explain it, but if you watch the whole video, you, I think you get the idea by the end of it. Even I get a bit confused sometimes with these things. Um, so what we're going to do now is do the fine tuning. So that's pointing each mirror at each at itself. So you have to get um, mirror one adjusted so that it points at mirror two, the center of mirror two, and the mirror two so it points at the center of mirror three and then down the laser tube to hit the, the lens at the the focus lens at the bottom of the tube in the center and then which consequently goes out the middle of the bottom of the nozzle so let's go so first things first and uh, you can see the the laser tube poking out there from behind that plate uh, that needs to be level and pointing at the center of this mirror, this first mirror. Um, tricky to do, but really important that you get it right. Then we have to focus this lens using the knobs on the back uh, to point at the center of the mirror on the X axis. I'll just go through doing that. So using painter's tape, we cover up the focus hole of mirror number two. Then using the pulse key on the control panel, we fire a pulse through the laser. So I think you can see here that the dot is not quite in the center of the focus ring on the second mirror. So using the knobs on the back of the first mirror, uh, we adjust it so that it lines up correctly. and then take another go at it. And sometimes that happens, you get a little fire, just blow it out. So I add a new piece of painter's tape and fire another shot and this time it's looking good. So it's very much the same procedure, focusing mirror two onto mirror three. Mirror three is the laser head. And I think you can see it's not quite centered there again. Using a bit of trial and error, adjusting the knobs, you get it to line up correctly. On to the third and last mirror. Um, object of the game is we've got to get the the reflected laser beam which has gone in through that hole there bounced off the mirror to bounce directly down the center of the the laser head tube um, it hits a uh, your uh, laser lens which is somewhere here um, and then that will condense the beam to a very fine spot but if you've if, you, if your laser, if your mirror alignment is off, um, it'll bounce off the edge of the cone and not go down the center of the hole. You'll think it does, but if you look very closely at a, an off-centered beam, you can see that it's, it's, it'll be misshapen. You're looking for a, a perfectly round dot, very small, but a perfectly round dot. So my method of doing this, um, not completely conventional, but works for me. Um, is simply to mark the end of the tube, end of the nozzle, uh, with something sticky. Um, I found lipstick's good, 
and the wife's got a spare spare stick of lipstick so I've I've taken that yes she does know and um, and, the, and I'm using that so to that end you lower your z-axis down access to it take your lipstick looking a bit manky <laughs> and just put a little coating over the end of the nozzle So you can see it's not firing in quite the right spot there. So if we adjust the knobs, should be able to get it to go central. Quite subtle. Yeah, I think that's got it. I'll just do it again. That's a perfectly in the centre there. That's roughly normal cutting height. And if you go down further, it should pulse again. It should hit it exactly again. There we go. So that's actually perfect now. And clean your head off, of course. It just comes right off. It doesn't hurt anything. First we set the laser head to a fixed position above the bed. I've got a 3mm thick piece on the bed with a 3mm piece on top of that. Then we adjust the head so it touches the top layer, meaning it's 6mm from the bed. I'm using light burn here. We go to focus test and then that pops up a window. Just accept the default settings, works for me and press start. What this is doing is it's uh, varying the height of the, of the laser head from the bed and then drawing a line and a number and from that you'll be able to tell which is the best focus, i.e. the height. So when that finishes we can look at the results and see which is the best line, um, line thickness, looking for the thinnest line. And I think you can see here that number 7, 7mm seven is the, the optimum, um, which means we set the laser height to 10mm. So I make a gauge at 10mm so we can set the height of the laser head 10 millimeters above the bed of the laser and that should give us the optimum cut. So that concludes my alignment videos. So to go over what I explained before, um, on a larger, larger laser machine it's important that all of the axes are level. I make them level to the world because that's easy to do with a bubble level. Um, so the tube must be flat, the two Y axis need to be flat and the X needs to be flat. If you can do that and make sure that your mirrors are parallel to those axes then you should be onto a winner. In focusing the lens um, not all lasers have an, uh, um, uh, an automatic Z axis, mine does so that 
well, accounts for the thickness of the material, uh, but you may have to do that manually.